it's just gone 25 past 7 and we've just arrived at Gatwick's North Town now. We are doing something I never thought I'd say. We're going on a cruise. Um, I'm really nervous and Jack doesn't know where he's going. Where are you going? Okay. We're flying with EasyJet. We're actually going on a Virgin cruise. What we're doing is trying out Virgin's new cruise line, basically. They're called Virgin Voyages. Yeah. We've already found out the flights delayed. Don't know how much by. Hopefully not too long. We've just um, dropped the bags off. Now we're going to go through um, whatever this bit's called. I'm so thirsty. Our flight's been delayed two hours. Good start. So we have coffee. As if I wasn't nervous enough about getting on a boat, we're now late for the boat. Stay tuned. We're still here. Gate info is at 9.50 and it's 8.50. So still have an hour until gate info. They said it's because of the weather. We had breakfast. It's been good. I think we are going to leave now because we've been here for a while. Not much else has happened. I got water. So our gate finally got called. And what time is it? 10. It's 10 o'clock. We were meant to take off at 10 past nine, so that's peak. But yeah, we're walking to the gate. I mean, I had a look and the plane's not even here, so. We've just got our cases. We've landed in Barcelona. We're gonna try and find a taxi to take us to the cruise terminal. This is all so confusing. I'm slightly overwhelmed. I don't really know what's going on. We, uh, we've just got out the taxi, obviously gone through the cruise check-in and things. We shared a cab with a lovely couple, so that half the taxi price, thank God. It's all a bit strange. How are you feeling? I mean, I've done this before, so it's, it's very... What in the fuck am I doing? That is disgusting to even look at. How does that even float? I'm scared. So we've got our bands on, and what this basically is, is the key to your cabin. You can pay food with it. You can practically do anything with it. This is mental. There's a DJ. Holy shit, this is the lift. First impressions, very bougie. Um, a welcome drink would have been nice, but so wow, this lift is sick. We're gonna go find our cabin. We're on floor 14. We do have a balcony. We found our cabin. Okay, so now what we do is attach to our band. Oh, it pinged. Grand reveal. Holy shit. This is cute. Right, so we're in the room. Um, or cabin, shall I say. It's really nice. I love how clean it is, modern. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a little tour. Here's the door. This is what you see, you walk in here. So you've got kind of like a little hanging area for hoodies, dresses, shirts. On your left is the bathroom. So you've got the standard toilet, towels, big mirror, sink, a lovely rainfall shower with some amenities inside. You uh, exit the bathroom. You have a full length mirror in the wardrobe and then you've got a safe, standard. I don't even want to mention what they are and why you might need them or we'll skip past that. You walk in, you have another full length mirror and then you've got the bed, um, bedside table, obviously TV, you've got another but to the table, desk area, you've got a mirror. You have some water, a little squid, cups, I don't know what that is. And this is the fridge, you can open. You can have your water in there, which I might put some in, actually. It's not freezing, but it's cool. And then this. If I don't look down, I'm fine, but the view is stunning. So yeah, you can see the, the town of Barcelona. Hello. Hi there, see you come in. Welcome aboard the Virgin Voyage. Oh no. Now, I've got some important safety information that I must tell you. Hi everybody. You better listen up and listen. 
I'd rather just drown than watch this. <laughs> Um, I don't know what that was. Now we've watched it, I can use this little iPad thingy. This obviously syncs up to the TV. Ugh, they've got Aquaman. Um, this is fun. These are room controls. So this is, um, what is this? Ah, so that's the lights. So they're dimmable. So I've turned it up halfway. Bedroom temperature, this needs to come down because it's hot in here. Mm. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, you've turned on the mood lighting. Photo shoot is opening that back up. Oh, and it's changing to like an orange. This zen. Oh, it's being closed again. Oh, it's blue. Pumped up is opening these again. Oh, and it's a nice purple. Then you've got Hangover is gonna again close the curtains. It's like a deeper purple, I wanna say. And we're back to get it on. Other things you can do is um, request fresh towels. You can request your cabin to be cleaned, bed to be made. You can, I like that you can request more water. So far, I don't know. I'm nervous to move. I'm like, I'm fine because we're stationary and I can see land. Do you know what I mean? So we have to do something in about 20 minutes. We have to go somewhere. I think it's some sort of safety brief. But when we do that, we're also going to have a look around, familiarise ourselves so we're not too overwhelmed. We can find out where everything is so we're not searching. And for check-in. At your leisure, please make your way to your assembly station, as shown on the back of your cabin door. Or see you at your assembly station soon. I feel like we should name her. So our luggage has arrived. It's about, what time is it? 49 minutes past six. We had a mooch around the ship just to get our bearings, did that thing we had to do and then looked around and then we came back, got changed and now we're going to head to the sail away party. I mean, we're already sailing away, but yeah, we're going to go up there and see what that's about and then get some food because we're hungry. We are in Pink Agave, which is the Mexican restaurant here on board. I think it's been very nice. Yeah, they bring you like a selection to start with and then your mains. And I got a margarita. How was yours? Yeah, no, really nice. The waiter decided to order me a drink. It's a passion fruit margarita and it's really spicy. But I have to keep drinking it to be nice. Finished dinner at Pink Agave. Overall thoughts, I thought it was really good. But yeah, basically they give you like entrees, like little, like, kind of like tapas. And you get your main and a side and then pudding. Although he tried to murder me with recommending a margarita and it had chili flakes in it. given a cookie in a nightclub. We're going back to our cabin. I'm shattered, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna get ready for bed and hopefully feel more alive tomorrow. So yeah, this has been a very eventful day. Very overwhelming at times, but all in all really good so far. I haven't had any complaints. I'm a bit nervous on how I'm gonna sleep tonight because I've definitely been feeling the boat. <laughs> So we're in France, we're in a nice little cafe. We've just had a 
Goffre and some water. Spent the day here, we've just done walking, went in some shops, we did a little train tour of the city and now we're just waiting to get back on board for dinner later. So yeah, it's been a really nice day in Toulon, France. We are sat here up on the pool deck the DJ's playing. We're just waiting for our dinner reservation at the, it's at the Italian tonight. We're going to Extra Virgin. Dinner's at 6.15, so we're just, yeah, chilling. Um, it's really warm, so that's nice. So we're sat, sure to get some candy from Daniela. We're sat in the red room, waiting for one of the A shows. I don't really know what's happening. Confusion is good. Great, because I'm always confused. cabin we haven't really been doing much since getting back on board we had dinner and then we came back here just for a bit and then we went to see the misbehave show which was good i didn't know what i was expecting i think that was the point of it now we've just come back here for a semi early night we are in italy tomorrow hopefully it's nice weather again see what tomorrow brings good morning it is tuesday we are in Italy. I've just got dressed. We're gonna head to the galley for some breakfast and then we're gonna, oh it's dark in here, and we're gonna have a look around Italy. So we're in La Spezia. I've just got a iced cappuccino. It's hot. So it's quarter to seven. We've just got back on board after a really nice day in Italy. Again really hot, which I mean, I'm not complaining. And we are just waiting now. We might get changed before we go for dinner. We're at Razzle Dazzle tonight, which is a vegan restaurant and neither of us are vegan, but I thought I'd try it. There are some naughty options. I know we're halfway through, but look at the feast. That is our dinner right now. So we're in Razzle Dazzle, which is the vegan restaurant and I don't think I've ever had so much food in my life. Um, luckily it's been really good for Jack because there's been a lot of gluten free options so we've got like a little feast going on and we're sharing and for a vegan restaurant I've never had so much meat but oh my god it's so nice. <laughs> What time even is it? Half eleven. So we've just had breakfast at half eleven. <laughs> I don't think we have any plans today because we're at sea. I might inquire about getting my hair done because it's looking nasty. Like future. I think we're just gonna chill today. Try and get some sun. I had a yogurt and a croissant, some berries and a spinach omelet. And I've got my coffee. Jack, what do you have? Oh, you had a full English again. Yeah, some melon. So we're basically trying to find somewhere to sit and lay. Just finished breakfast, although it was pretty late. It's now gone 12. I put my hair in at the hairdressers um, just for a wash and blow dry tomorrow morning. So it'll last me until I go home just because, of, like I said, I didn't bring anything. And my hair is getting a bit greasy now, so it needs a bit of TLC. see we're back in the room it's about six o'clock we've been led on the pool deck practically all day jack's a bit burnt yep which i told him not to get to be honest i haven't checked myself yet so fingers crossed i'm all good we don't have dinner until about quarter to eight so i think we're just gonna slowly get ready i was on the balcony but i came in because it's a bit chilly in the shade we're at the wake tonight. I would say is their like finest. It's their it's classed as their nicest restaurant, although I reckon all of them are pretty nice. We'll see how tonight goes. I just wanted to say I'm finding it a lot better. Like the bed is so comfy. I think that's where 
Virgin ship's quite new. Not many people have slept in it yet. Yeah, it must have been a really rough part going from Barcelona to our first destination because that night I could feel it really bad and I thought, oh my god, I've got a week of this. But since then, I've barely felt the boat move. So, result. Yeah, it's growing on me. There are some, some times where I'm like, what is that? What's happening? But, yeah, it's alright. We have just had dinner at The Wake. It's a gorgeous restaurant. We've both had a fillet steak. It was gorgeous. The ship's a bit rocky tonight, so probably not the best time to go to The Wake, which is the back of the boat. I think we're just gonna wait around. We have about half an hour until the show tonight. watching an amazing show. It was very Cirque du Soleil and it was, they kind of told a story about Romeo and Juliet through crazy, oh, crazy acrobatic tricks. It was so fucking good. It started getting a bit choppy over dinner. I'm feeling a bit iffy, so I'm gonna see how well I can sleep. I mean, that's another thing, how the fuck they're doing all those tricks while I can't even walk in a straight line. So it is quarter to nine. I'm just heading down to get my hair done. Jack's still asleep. I did not sleep last night. I think I slept for about two hours. Totally. I got my hair done. It was so much better. We've just had breakfast after getting ready. And we're now going to go out into- For crew bill purposes only. This is a captain speaking. Abundant ship, abundant ship. Abandoned ship. Assembly station marshals begin walking out to the It's a very chill abandoned ship. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're going out bolts. into the town, Three, mooch about four, today. Five. So we're in Corsica. We're in the town of Ajaccio, Ajaccio. We've had a little stroll around, looked in some shops, had a drink in a nice little cafe. We're by the waterfront. And yeah, we're just waiting until quarter past one when we're getting on the open top bus tour. It's an hour and a half long. It's gonna take us all of the long the coast. We haven't got anything planned for dinner tonight and it's an early departure. We need to be back on board at about four, half four. And then we leave at five to go to our last destination. So we're waiting for the bus to leave. Thank God there's shade because my parting is rather red. I think it departs in about five minutes now, so not too long. Let's go around the corner, yeah. I think the best part about that was the fact that we had the So we are walking back on board after a lovely day in Corsica. It's been really nice. We haven't had too long today. It's about four and we're just heading back in. We leave tonight at five, I think, and then we go to Ibiza tonight. We won't get there until about five, six in the evening tomorrow though. Yeah, we've kind of got another pool day. We don't really have any plans for dinner tonight, so I don't know what to do. We really liked Razzle Dazzle, so I don't know if we might go back there. Good evening. It is eight o'clock. We've just finished getting ready. It is Scarlet Night tonight which means you have to dress in red. So I've put on this dress that kind of has red in it and I've put on a red lipstick. 
Jack has failed to bring anything red. He's gonna stick out like a sore thumb, but it's fine. We have actually booked dinner and a show tonight. We're going to see It's a Ship Show, which is a set menu dinner with a show. The boat has got a bit rough again. So this is my outfit. It is a bit saucy, um, it's see-through, but it's got gorgeous lace flowers on it, so I'm fucking wearing it. I just want to say as well, on this cruise, every single staff member has been so nice. I mean, to me, they've been too nice. I've been kind of thinking, what's the catch? How are you this nice? Why are you this nice? Yeah, everyone is so nice. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, just walking past. Oh my god. Yeah, the best staff on board Virgin Voyages. So I just wanted to say that in case you're wondering what the staff are like. They are lovely. Yeah, we're gonna head down now. We've been playing a lot of air hockey while we wait for things. <laughs> so might play some of that again. <laughs> afternoon it is about half 12 we had a bit of a late night last night so we thought we'd make our way slowly down to breakfast this morning before we've got all afternoon on the ship as we're still sailing into ibiza i think we arrive at about six or seven tonight and so we're going to head up onto the pool deck again for a bit of sun if we can it's a bit cloudy today but i'm sure it'll come out at some point it was scarlet night last night it was all across the ship, everything was red, all the lights were red, they put decorations out, everyone was wearing red, that was the dress code, um, and they had live DJs everywhere. It was really good. So yeah, bit of a late night. We actually have our first excursion booked for tonight in Ibiza. I've always wanted to go to Ibiza, so I'm really excited. Not much planned until then, just gonna get a last bit of sun. So it's been a while since we last spoke. We are actually in Ibiza. We haven't really done much today, hence not really filming. So yeah, we are currently on a walking tour. It is really nice at the moment. So we're going through the old town and then we're gonna stop somewhere to have a drink. We found a little quiet corner because it is absolutely heaving. There's some sort of medieval market on whilst we're on our tour. It was a bit busier than it anticipated for our tour guide. Just given us about 20 minutes free time, so obviously sangria. We've come to a rooftop bar. We've got a drink of cava. It's the sangria with champagne, so it's not sangria at all. Good morning. It is officially our last day, or our last full day before we sail back to Barcelona tonight to go home. We have all day in Ibiza, or till around half five. We have to be back on board at half five. So last night we went for a night stroll around the town, sat in a rooftop terrace bar, had a couple drinks there, and then we went along the strip, went in some bars along there, which was really nice, and then came back to the boat, and now we're going to head back into the town today to walk around some different areas. It has just started raining. Hopefully it doesn't rain for too long. 
I don't know if you can hear me. It's quarter to eight. We have just come back to the room for a few minutes before our dinner reservation tonight. We are for the last time at the wake. I'm just on the balcony for the last time, enjoying some sun as we sail away. I have a stunning view. I am actually really going to miss this. Sorry, I'm just gonna come inside because I don't know if you can hear me out there. But yeah, we had a really nice day in Ibiza today in the daytime because it did get quite dark quite quickly last night. We are now unfortunately sailing back to Barcelona. Yeah, so one more night tonight. It has been an absolutely amazing week. I'll tell you my overall thoughts at the end. Let's go have one more night. So we are in at the wake. It is the steak restaurant here on board. I'll show you a bit of the menu. Last time we were here, I got the wedge salad and then the filet mignon. And I think I'm gonna have the exact same thing because it was delicious. Are you gonna do the same? Yeah. And then that big window just there is the actual wake. Recognised by their high-pitched sounds, all weather sparkle tops and miniskirts. They are vulnerable to suffering in heels and future clutches and hyphens. I do have another question about how your despair manifests. For me, I often wake in the middle of the night. Oh, is that for you? Um, for me, it is a voice in my head that says, I'm worthless, I'm nothing. Ah! And what does that voice sound like? Good morning from Barcelona. As you can see, we are back where it all started about a week ago. We've just finished packing our last bits and getting ready. We are gonna head up for breakfast in the galley and then our disembarkation is in about an hour from now. We're gonna leave our luggage here while we eat breakfast and then just come back to grab it and say goodbye. Overall opinion, this has been an amazing week. I definitely do recommend Virgin Voyages. They have been amazing. The staff are amazing. The entertainment is mental. The food is incredible as well. Jack's found it really good as he has a gluten allergy. He's been able to eat a lot so that's always good and we look out for that yeah i didn't know how i was gonna feel being my first cruise and i'm not a massive fan of boats but it's been amazing so thank you for watching um if you have if you haven't don't worry i am gonna end the vlog here just because all we're doing is going home really one thing i did want to say now that we are sat here reflecting another good thing about virgin voyages is how eco-friendly they are this wristband um, that i showed you at the beginning is actually completely made from recycled plastic and marine waste which i think is quite cool they don't believe in buffets because of the food wastage so although there were stations where you could say i want that that and that there is no waste I think what's good about Virgin Voyages as well is how diverse everyone was. There were so many different kinds of people from different backgrounds, not just, you know, the kind of clientele that you associate with cruises. You had a mixture. We definitely didn't feel like the odd ones out. We definitely were not the youngest couple there. I think it's really good if you're a group of lads or even a group of girls or a young couple, old couple, regardless, they are so welcoming to everyone we saw lots of different people especially when you're talking because you get to know a lot of people on the cruise i will be back on a virgin voyage i don't know when but i'm definitely not opposed to the idea but now we are waiting for our flight back to england